Hello, welcome back to Inside Myanmar Channel. I'm YTB. Welcome back to Inside Myanmar Channel. I'm YTB. Um, currently, it's winter season here in Myanmar, so it's the best time to go to the outdoor places. So today, I would like to introduce you to a place called the Zoological Gardens of Yango. Um, so there are only three zoos in Myanmar: one in Mandalay, one in Nebido, and one in Yango. So the Yango Zoo is the oldest in Southeast Asia and um, the second largest zoo in Myanmar. So now we're gonna go in and check the animals out. So the opening hour is from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. And the entrance fee is um, different from locals and foreigners. So the entrance fee for an adult for foreigner is 7,000 Yamaha which is around $3. So let's go in and check it out. So the zoo story begins in 1901 when it was funded purely by public donations and it was initially called the Victoria Memorial Park in 1901 and then it changed its name into the Zoological Gardens of Yango um, in 1951. So the zoo is located on Gan Road in Ningla Daonyun Township um, in Yango. So now we're going to go check the hippopotamus which is the closest to the gate. So there is one underwater. Um, I didn't see that. So hippos are actually abivore, which means they fuel their body um, using plants. And they're most active at night. And they, on average, they eat like 18 pounds of plants each night. And they have an ability to you know, produce um, oily and red um, liquid to protect themselves from the sun, just for your knowledge. So there's also one here. I don't know why people keep them separated. I think they're enemies. <laughs> there are many species of um, monkeys here too. Um, this one is called Northern Pig-Tailed Macaque. And this is where you can find them. So this is where they're originated from. And they literally eat everything it says here. <laughs> so yeah, this one. And you can also buy some treats for them and eat them. tropical climate country so the best time to come visit to Myanmar is from November to February because it's the best time to do you know outdoor activities and it is also recommended to keep some cash with you um, in case you want to buy some treats for your friendly animals at the zoo so there are stalls like this to buy treats for the animals so a basket of watercress is 2,000 Myanmar which is around a dollar and um, a basket of banana for monkeys is also 2,000 Yamaha Fair. Um, so there are different species of bears too. Um, apparently this one is Asia Tick Black Bear. And you can find this black bear around here, as you can see the map. <laughs> And in terms of age, they can live up to 25 to 30 years in the jungle and up to 35 years in the gardens like this. They're quite chubby. There are also many species of um, birds. Um, Yango Zoo has quite a few um, large exotic birds such as um, macaws and um, cockadoos. Uh, but this one is like small kind of bird. Um, this is called sand parakeet and I'm not sure if that's true that um, parrots they can live up to like more than a hundred years old. Um, I have read in one of the articles but I'm not sure if that's true. <laughs> and there are also does. Yeah I think they're does. And um, a peacock over there. There's also a large peacock over there. Look, that one's quite big. 
I heard there is also Nyama hornbills here, but I can't find it yet. <laughs> I can only see like doves and peacocks and parrots. There's so many parrots here. And there are also crocodiles, as you can see there. I think he's sleeping or something. <laughs> Do you know that crocodiles, they can stay under the water for at least one hour without coming up? And crocodiles, they can't move their jaws um, sideways, so they can't chew in a traditional way. So um, most of them um, tear off chunks from their prey and then swallow them whole, but they don't have trouble um, chewing because they have the strongest bite in the world. So I think this one is Burmese python. Um, so Burmese python is among the largest snakes in the world, but this one's not quite big. Um, actually, they can grow up to like 20 feet long, which is quite long. So um, there are different types of um, bears you can see here as well. Um, I've only seen Asiatic black bear so far. Um, there's also sand bear. Sand bears are actually the um, smallest existing um, species of bears. And oh, I think I found one over there. <laughs> Oh, cockadoo. Cockadoo. Oh, they're white. This one's also cockadoo, but they're blue eyed. But they have the same color. They're both white. So, this one is Nyamatamin, and also known as Elf Deer. And this can only be found in Nyama, but nowhere else. That's what it says here. So there are also baggies available if you don't want to walk, but I feel like walking is better because there are also like shady trees. So it's not very like sunny. So I think walking is the best option. So um, this is the map and everything is written in English. So it's very easy to like catch up. And um, there are also pictures here. So there are more than like, more than 40 species of animals here. So I got sugar canes for the elephants. The most attraction of the zoo upon opening was the albino um, elephant that belonged to the King Thibo, which was the last king of Myanmar. And um, the good thing about elephants here is that you can get very close to, um, close to them and um, you can feed them and they're not in the cage, so it's good. Um, so I'm gonna feed them the sugar cane. Oh! Oh! Not the dog one. The other one is coming! <laughs> Gone. So um, this one is white tiger, and I think there are only like um, one, one um, white tiger, but there are other types of tigers too. Um, so in terms of age, white tigers they can live up to um, ten to twenty years, and they only meet, of course, the tigers. <laughs> And you can see um, white tiger um, in India, like eastern and southern, oh, no, 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 eastern and northern India. And they, they like to live alone. So apparently it's more than one white tiger. So far I saw three white tigers already. One over there. You can also go visit to the lions if you have time. But um, the lions are very far from where we are right now, so maybe next time. Um, so I'll just stop my video here and I hope you find this video informative. And um, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications for more videos like this. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.